Having kind of a late start to my day, it's currently 12.17, but I'm pretty much done with finals. For all of you guys doing exams, good luck. Today on my agenda, I have some research to do, abstract to write for a conference that I want to apply to, and then some other like just little administrative stuff to do because I've been so like sucked into this big final paper I had to write for one class that I have completely neglected everything else. That's on the agenda for today. Right now, I have some French vanilla in here. It's just the Nescafe one. And then I have two slices of toast. I am probably going to waste time for about another hour watching Survivor, and then I should probably get to work around like one. So welcome to a kind of splotchy week in my life. One of you guys reached out to me and said I should start talking more in my vlogs along with the artsy stuff. So what you ask for is what you get. Let's go. I should probably drink this with a straw given how much work I put into this lip combo. But I'm so hungry that I, I don't care. Yeah. We'll be up later. It is currently 1.29 and I've been working for the past like 40 minutes ish and my supervisor booked two tickets for the main conference which is the Montreal AI and Neuroscience Conference. Now I get to go. I always like to go into these conferences with a bit of an idea of who's going to be there, what potential networking targets that I want to have. I saw a name, I think it's Lana James or Lalana James. And she is a black AI medicine and data justice postdoc fellow at Queens. And I'm like, I feel like that's already an in because when you have alumni that go to Queens, it's just pretty much, I went to Queens, you go to Queens, let's connect. And I'm really excited. I was at Queens for four years and I never had any form of role models, mentors within like the higher postgrad field that were black in AI or computer science in general. I think it's really exciting. Stay tuned. Networking is like a really big, big part of grad school. And I have a little bit of experience, but I'm always learning. And I think it's one of the most exciting things about being a postgrad student. <laughs> piercing fell out so I first need to go get a new piercing well I need to get a new jewelry and hope that they don't have to re-pierce it because it's been out since last night probably been about a good 12 hours and then I'm meeting my friend at a local coffee shop I'm gonna put in about three hours of work and then I have a meeting at three o'clock so yeah that's the agenda for today Or yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. Oh my god, these nails need to come off. Ah! Anyways, this is the one. Can you guys see it? Okay. Mm. Get a bit of pressure. 
Perfect. Are you piercing it again? Nope. It's uh, just a guide. There's no uh, pointy end on it. There's no needle. Deep breath. I don't think this is gonna work this way. I'm gonna have to try some this. <laughs> Thank you. Nice deep breath. Your previous jewelry, did it ever feel like tight at all? I did do that, what you're yeah. doing. Yeah. Yeah. I did do that. Because so, yeah, I took it out one time and, it, and it, it didn't go back in. Exactly. Yeah, so, <laughs> exactly what just happened. Okay, cool. Okay, so this is going to take me a second just to widen it so that it actually makes it through your nose. <laughs> I was cleaning it yesterday and then it came out and then fell into the sink. So there was no even trying to take it out. I was the like, amount of pieces of jewelry and beads and just like knickknacks. They're just I sitting had, in my like, yeah. Wash all down the drain. I'm like, well, cool, cool, wow. cool, 20 bucks. Just yeah. Like that. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. So just passing the guide again. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Give yourself a nice deep breath. Much better. Did it go in? Oh yeah. Oh, that is huge. And there you go. It's cute though. But it's cute, yeah. yeah. I was gonna say it's cute. Yeah. It's definitely different, but I like it. Yeah, it's gonna take me some time to adjust to having a oh, big piece. Yeah, but, but honestly, I think it like mm. it's, Yeah, now you can see it. Do you think I have enough uh, real estate to do a second oh, piercing? Oh, so freaking Okay. Yeah, no question. Like on the same side? Yep. Okay. On the okay. same side, you could do the double as well because you have actually a pretty symmetrical ridge in both. Do I? Like it's a little bit more shallow on this side, mm -hmm. but like the height of your nostrils is pretty even across. Oh, right. You can round it off at 16. Thank you. Guys, we got like, were we stranded? Kind of. We were kind of stranded waiting for this bus to come. It wasn't coming. It wasn't coming. It we were freaking by the second. We stayed in, like, in that time that we stayed waiting for the bus, we probably could have walked. Today is Saturday, December 10th, I believe. Yesterday I went to a Christmas party, and today we have a Secret Santa thing with my lab. So I'm going to go buy a candle for the person that I drew. I'm probably gonna grab some champagne or something just to bring as a gift. So far I've just been cleaning, doing laundry, which you can probably hear at the back, and getting ready for the holidays. This is my favorite time of the year. Let's go to Marshall's Winners.
combination that I have on is MAC chestnut on my lips to line and then I went in with this super cute Huda Beauty liquid matte in the shade Lover and then I went in this Pat McGrath lip gloss just on the bottom I think this is festive enough I want to have just a pop of green I have this cutting edge palette from Dose of Colors I think it is I don't know if this is the right green uh, I have it has this I'm so late at this point. I think I just want to go this here. Okay, no. One second. This Pat McGrath palette, this is subversive. It has like a green goldish color. It's too dark. Not exactly what I'm going for. Okay, I'm going to take that off with this. See you guys there. Okay, so here is the final look. I bought this real quick at Winners, as you guys saw. Look at my makeup. I'm wearing it with these flare pants and this top. And now we go. I'm wearing Angel Share by Killian, and I layered that with Sweetie Owl by Roja. Oh shit, I almost forgot my gift. Ah, uh, gosh, I can't stand myself. <laughs>
It's the next morning. My makeup is still here, it's still a mess. Currently, I'm making shrimps. Here, I'll show you. These shrimps, I'm watching Old Grey's Anatomy. It's currently 12.48. I should probably do some grocery shopping. I need to go to the Asian Food Mart and get some items. And then my lab, we are all going to archery. I think they call it archery tag. We are going today at seven. This is the most fun packed week I've had in a long time. And with everything that's happening right now, I feel like God knew what I needed. I am so marked. Yeah, I'm gonna eat. transgender non-binary is skyrocketing and I think there's something to be said for people who are truly experiencing gender dysphoria which we recognize exists. You need to really look at what the parents of trans youth really go through. Trans youth instead of them enjoying their life playing with their friends they're up in legislation trying to fight for basic rights here. One in five transgender youth have tried to commit suicide. Why are we trying to police them? Is there a black face for women? I see it as a caricature of women. Did she just say blackface for women? Shut the f up. Cut the cameras. I am running so late. Why is there snow on the floor? Honestly, beats like this are my favorite. This took me seven minutes. I got something to say. Twitter only give you hot shit every day. Afraid of us. You know this ain't a game to us. You strange to us. That's when we get in danger. Come on. This is serious. Oh, you have the hat. We could make it the deal. You should have a healthy fear of us. It's too much of a And they left it there and it's. Wait, is it, is it because it's like fully broken? Oh. Huh. Maybe we could fix that. I don't trust anything that's left out like that. Mm -mm. This is dangerous. Come on. So dangerous. We so dangerous. We flip mode squad. This Tonight was fun. I am so tired. Tomorrow is, tomorrow and next tomorrow are conferences. We have day one of the main conference and it starts really early at like 8.30 in the morning. We're gonna get a good night's sleep. We're gonna get ready for a full day of networking and hopefully I can get some shots of what it's like to network as a grad student. I'm using my phone, so excuse me. And I'm gonna wear some boots and this lip gloss.
most of our focus now is on cognition, whether the genetic mutations, how much they do decrease uh, IQ. The problem is that we don't have a lot of surgery because these genetic mutations are rare. So, how rare? Are, so it can be one in 4,000, one in 5,000. What we propose is that you can actually study the genetic mutations in a different data set with way more subjects in a healthy controls. In our case, what, what's specific in, about their brain? We isolated their brain pattern. I can quantify how much <laughs> my brain or your brain looks mm -hmm. like the disease brain. Got you. You can measure the, the regional, the size of every of your regions, of every of your brain region. And you just compare that to the to the, to the subjects that carry the limitation. But you also have a size of their brain regions. Okay. So you just compare your brain regions with their brain regions. Aren't these brain regions well defined? There are standard brain parcellations, like how, how to cut the brain into. Mm -hmm. So for 40,000 subjects, you calculated how much their brain looks like the disease brain. So yeah. you have one number per subject. Okay. If the number is high, that means the brain looks like a disease brain. Mm -hmm. If the number is low, then it doesn't mean you take that one number and just correlate it with everything else that was measured for these subjects. The thing about industry is that you do work that is more translatable to the real world. And I think that's where a lot of people kind of have that internal battle in terms of should I be stay in academia or should I do industry? So I was wondering what you think we can do to make academia projects and research more translatable to the real world. I've been noticing that there's been more collaborations between industry and academia, and I was wondering if you guys can speak on that. There is possibility to be in academia and to, have, to do some work that is very translatable. Being able to translate to the public is not something that is exclusive to industry. You can have a lot of different fields in academia that will allow to do that. I would try to look for postdocs or PhD um, positions that are partially funded by industry. So you'll have these collaborations between academic labs and, and industry partners. Like, for example, a pharmaceutical company uh, might fund a PhD students work on like a, a biomarker or something like that. In Canada, MITEX is a great uh, resource. Basically, uh, it funds positions that are joint between labs and uh, the company. So because the position is joint, both sides have to agree on a project. And that is basically what forces the two uh, partners to make sure that it is something that can be used in real world and also has some um, scientific value to it. But also on the other hand, I think that it is important for academics to deliberately have the mindset of educating students that can easily transition to industry. PIs basically who have grad students in their labs, I think have to do deliberately, making sure that they learn skills that can be used outside academia. And this is more important for labs that do only experimental work, because it has to be that um, students learn stuff that are not only useful inside a, a lab that does basic science. Here is the makeup look for tonight's dinner, friend. It's giving business professional, it's giving glam, and I'm here for it. Kissing your brown skin, looking like money. Since you focusing on being an accountant, when you have.
10.56, I have an assignment due at 11.59, and I've done exactly three of the five questions based off of this 28-page paper, and I'm working on my answers now. absolutely horrendous and this lock so it's a great day a great night it feels great to be home I was done to sleep bye